We're trying to save Mother Earth, you know. We're trying to save the world. We're trying to save our country. And Jesus told us to go and get the soul saved. Yes, yes. And yes. save yourself. Yes. Nosotros queremos, we want to reform the world, you know. I, I don't know. I'm saying nosotros, pero some people want to change the world. The world is not going to change. The people are the one that we can help change. Yes. Because the Holy Spirit will change us. <coughs> Pero esa es, esa es, un, esa es una maldición, brother. That's a, that's that's a that's a curse that's on this country. I don't care what anybody says. It may be I'm politically incorrect, but I don't care. But I know I'm not biblically incorrect. I know I'm right because that's what the Bible tells us. Every nation that for, forgets God shall be turning to hell, and that's what's happening. Ahora, ahora, I don't even want to think about it. You know, gay marriages. You know, and, and lobbying and over there to, to, to make laws to, to have uh, same-sex marriages. And to, pues, ¿qué es eso, man? You know, as if we're in trouble already as it is. And then trying to take, uh, you know, anything having to do with God out of the courtrooms and, and, and all that. But it's como le dije el otro día, brother, you know, prayer is inside of you. Nobody can take it out of you. If you walk in school, nobody can tell you not to pray. Because prayer doesn't require you for to, to kneel down and have a prayer meeting and, and recognize that you're doing a religious activity in, in, in the school. No. Tú traes la conexión aquí adentro. And somebody said, as long as there is chest in school, there will be prayer in school. Yeah. And kids will be praying, no, Señor, you know, they don't remember God any other time, but... When they're going to take a test, they're going to remember God, and they're going to pray. And there's no law in hell or, or here in this United States that can stop them from praying. Amen. Right. Woo. right. That's right. Yeah. Now, go with me to chapter 14. This is a terrible confession. Fíjate nomás, Chihuahua. Pero digo Chihuahua, pero ¿sabes qué? Muchos de nosotros estamos haciendo lo mismo. Yo, back up in chapter 13. We're going we're gonna to start on 13. Verse 27. And they told him and said, We came unto the land where thou sentest us, and surely it flows with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong, and that dwell in the land, and the, and the cities are walled, and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. There's, there's nothing wrong with that yet, okay? Because that, that's what they were sent for, to investigate what was going on in that, in that land. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell in the sea by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once. Say with me, let us go up at once. Let us go up at once. And possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. it. There was one man que se paró de los doce que andaban ahí. Ellos comenzaron a decir, okay, this is, <clears throat> see, Mo, God wanted Moses to send them so they could come back and, and say, okay, this is what's going on, but I know, but we know that we can make it because God is with us. Yes. Yes. They didn't say that. They came back and they only saw the problem. And a lot of us don't see the solution. We only see the problem and we displease God when we're behaving that way. Mm -hmm. But Caleb stood up. The Bible says he had another spirit. Say with me, he had another spirit. No era como los demás que traían un espíritu de temor. Traían a spirit of, of fear and they had a spirit of doubt. They didn't have a spirit of faith. That's what we need. A spirit of faith. That in the midst of the turmoil that you're that's around you, it's not going to move you. You're going to continue believing what the Word of God told you. And then uh, it says, verse 30, And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the man that went up with him said, We be not able. This is where they messed up. Oh, 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 
una guerra ahí, una huelga. Sí. There was a, a contradiction. Caleb said, okay, estamos los dos. You already told us what you saw. Let's go in. Vámonos. He, that, that guy was ready to go fight. He was ready to go in and get what God promised him. But these other 10 guys said, wait a minute, we're not able to overcome them. Es como un football team que va a jugar pelota con otro team. Y miren los guys bien grandotes. Dicen, no, ya la tenemos perdida. Before they even start. Negative. Before they throw the first tackle, they already lost the game. Así estos guys. But let me tell you something. I mean, football games is something else. I, I don't believe God gets involved in football games. It's about kids. But God gets involved in your personal life. God gets involved in His promises. God gets involved when the devil is trying to take something away from you. Ahí sí sé que Dios se mete. God will get in. But it depends what you see. You see these, these guys, uh, they said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. How many of us see the problem stronger than us? We vemos el problema un poco más grande que nosotros a veces y no le entramos porque tenemos miedo. We don't want to confess something that we're going to feel foolish about later because we don't believe actually that God is going to make it come to pass because there is so much doubt in us. Yes. Verse 32, And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the, inherit the inhabitants thereof, and all the people we saw in it are men of great stature. You see what's happening here? Mm -hmm. How do you see your problems? Maybe your financial situation, your, your marriage, ahorita, your children, your job, <coughs> whatever it is, your, your healing in your body. ¿Cómo miras ese problema? Do you see it the way these guys do? That's why the Bible gives us these stories, because that's an evil report, and God is very displeased <coughs> when we think, see things bigger than God. There was a song, Casey, bigger than any mountain, bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain. I forgot the words. But it was a song that talks about God is bigger than anything. Amen. It, 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 but you know what it takes to be able to see God bigger than your problem? You need a relationship with Him and you need to know who He is. Amen. If you only take what I say here in church and you really don't know who God is, you're always going to see your problem bigger than God. Because what makes you see God big is what you see He's, doing, he's done in your life. Because I'm going to testify tonight in the tent of what God has done in our lives. That's why I can never see God small. I always see God big. Yes. Woo! Woo! Big. And nobody can, can make me change my mind because it's history in my life. It's recorded already. It's branded in my spirit. It's branded in my emotions, in my mind, the things God did for us. Cuando no había nada, brother, Dios mandó a alguien. Out of the blue. <laughs> those, those are miracles that God is showing you. I'm bigger than any problem you could ever have. Yeah. Yeah. When you begin to see those landmarks in your life, you can always look back and, and maybe God will never perform another miracle in your life. Maybe God will never have to prove anything. But you know what? He doesn't have to because you're never going to be in need anymore. As long as cuando Dios haga algo en tu vida, brother, you stick to that and never let it go. Because that's that's the word of God. Yes. If God did something for you, then you always go back and open your history book of your life and say, Yo me acuerdo que aquí en 1991 yo me inqué y Dios me contestó el siguiente día y nadie me lo va a quitar. But these people saw the problem bigger. Uh, oh, well, you know, I know God heals headaches, but cancer, I don't know. I mean, that's, I don't have enough faith for that. You know, esas son cosas más grandes. ¿Cómo lo miras tú? So, some of you may be living right now in a house where you see, man, I wish I had a, a bigger house and I, I wish I, I had a better living quarters. ¿verdad? Don't, don't look at the need. Look at the supplier. And if you've been somebody that's planted seeds, let me tell you, those seeds are not going to go unnoticed by God. 